Hi guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today I've got a Lakiro personal stylist box. I'm gonna unbox it all for you and we're gonna see what they sent. So this is my second Lakiro box. Now, if you're new to Lakiro or you have no idea what a personal stylist box is, essentially the way Lakiro works, you sign up to Lakiro, you fill out uh, a little kind of style profile, it only takes about five minutes, where you tell them things like your sizes, your likes and dislikes in Sephara's so as things like fabrics and fits and styles and things like that. You can also tell them, I don't need bags, I've got enough bags, or I don't want jeans, or I don't want dresses, or whatever that might be. And then you also tell them the sort of price range that you're willing to spend on things as well, so they can really try and tailor the box to you. And the way that then works, all that information then goes to an actual human who decides on pieces for you. And then they write you a nice little note like this, which comes with the box. Um, and you also get style cards as well, telling you what to do with the pieces they've selected for you. So the cost of the service, it's £10 to sign up for a box. So you can join for free, but it's £10 when you order that first box. So what happens is they deduct the £10 styling fee, but then you don't pay anything to get the box delivered to you. And if you send anything back, returns are free as well. In the box, you will find five items that have been picked out for you. If you keep any of the items, you will get the £10 that you've spent knocked off the item price. So say you buy a top for £30, they'll knock off the £10 you've already spent, it'll cost you £20 for the top. You can send back everything else um, that you don't want and then you've not lost anything and you've got to try out some new styles and things like that. But for me, I'm really enjoying the novelty really of having somebody pick out items for me. Like I said, it's my second Lucky Hero box, but I've also had seven Stitch Fix boxes, which is a competitor of Lucky Hero. And I just really enjoy people choosing clothes for me. So each time you actually order a box on top of the style profile you've filled out and all that kind of stuff, you're gonna say, this is what I'm looking for right now. So for me and this month and this box, I'm looking for summer type items. So I uploaded some pictures of certain types of items that I like, so they got an idea of the style I was going for. I also um, gave them a link to a Pinterest board, which I'll link under the video. Again, just sort of telling them what my aims were with clothes and stuff, so they could use that as a kind of starting point when choosing items for me. Um, you then select what date you'd like to receive your box. So they send it off, make sure that you get it ideally by that date. You've then, once you receive the box, you get five days to try on all the clothes inside. And the great thing about this is because you're trying on all the items at home, it's not like when you're shopping in a shop and you haven't got access to any of your other clothes. I've got my whole wardrobe here so I can try out these pieces with things I already own and then see if it works for me or if I've got something really similar and therefore I don't need it. It really does work well at helping you to select the best pieces for you. One really great thing about Lakiro, they are a European brand and all the brands that they stock tend to be lesser known European brands. So certainly everything they've included in this box are from brands that I haven't bought anything from before, some of which I've never even heard of. So it's a really great way to actually find items that you otherwise wouldn't have found in the shops because they're just not in the shops over here. And it's a great way to find pieces that other people won't necessarily have because they've not picked it up off the local high street and things like that so it does work really well and i really enjoy the style cards that they give you because then it gives you ideas of how to put outfits together and things like that so without further ado i'm going to show you the box and everything that came inside so the box comes like this it actually has a little handle on the top and when you open up the box there's some items here wrapped in tissue paper. So there's two bundles here. There's also a big envelope with a prepaid label on. So if I send in the items back, that's my prepaid envelope. So it doesn't cost me anything. I just pop it up to the post office. There's then a personalized note from my stylist, which I'll read to you in just a moment. There is also an invoice which tells you the, the price of every item individually and it also tells you um, the total and if you keep all five items you get 25% off all of the items in the box. 
so that obviously then further reduces the cost of the box so sometimes say you want to only keep four items sometimes it makes more sense to actually keep the fifth item because with the discount you're getting the item free anyway so it is a really good deal you can get some real bargains shopping this kind of way then like i said before the style cards and i'll show you each style card as i go along with each item so this is the exciting part for me. I get to see exactly what's been picked out for me. And if you do want to try out a Lucky Hero box, I'll put a link and a code under the video. If you use the code at checkout, you'll get 10% off anything that you want to keep out of your first box. So it's definitely worth checking that one out. The great thing about the box as well, it's not a subscription, so you can just sign up to an on-demand service, which basically means as it sounds you just get the box when you ask for it so if you've got a specific event coming up that you're trying to dress yourself for you're going on a trip or whatever then this is perfect for that you just say right i'm going on a trip this is what i need they'll package it all up send it out to you and you can see which of the pieces work for you so let's get into this month's box so the note says hi crystal welcome back thanks for trusting in lakiro during this complicated time in this box i have tried to include as many of the items which you requested but some of which we didn't have in stock i hope you like the selection i'll start with the shorts by garcia jeans so let's check these shorts out so these are the shorts these are by garcia jeans which is not a brand i'm familiar with again they tend to go with european brands um so these are a gorgeous green color i really really love green and i also like the fact that there's this little sort of bit to tie at the waist it almost looks a bit like a shoelace or cord or something but it's got little slip pockets there on the back that are not real they're stitched but i reckon you could unpick them if you so wished um, and then it's got little pockets here on either side and one of those like little tiny pockets there so I am definitely on the hunt for more kind of summer shorts and I like that these have got a little cuff on them so I will try these on for you so these are the shorts and like I said they've got this kind of tie bit on the front I would say they're a little bit loose um, on the waist there so perhaps a slightly smaller size might have been good but they are pretty comfortable to be fair um, and I've just paired them with the cami as suggested and here's the little style card that came with the shorts you can see on the picture they appear to be like a blue colour on here but obviously I've got a green version of them so you can see them styled in different ways and then this is the top that they have kind of suggested I pair it with so this is by majulica and it is in a crew it's obviously a kind of white color and it's got this really nice sort of scalloping there and across the front and the back and it's like a v-neck um and it should go with a lot of different things actually this is 30 pounds 90. it's just a strappy kind of top I also said if i can have items that work well together all the better which seems to be what they've done with this So it's called the Coat Top Basic. Obviously on here it's shown in red, but I've been sent the um, kind of white version of it. And it says, add the denim jacket by SH by Lakiro for an easy, preppy, casual look. So Lakiro also have brands that are exclusive to them. I guess this is one of them. Um, so this will be a whole three piece outfit. And obviously if it's a Lakiro item, you're definitely not gonna get it anywhere else. So on my style board, I did have some kind of black denim jackets um, and some denim jackets in general. So this is what it looks like. It's got these like silver buttons going down the front. They actually say SH on it and it's got a pocket at either side there. And then small pockets here for your hands, which I do like as well. And little kind of details there at the back. And this retails at £59.70. So this is the jacket with the dress I was already wearing. It's got these little pockets in here as well. So I think it fits okay. Um, it's nice, decent quality jacket. The arms aren't too long either, which is always good. And I do have other black jackets, so it's whether I need this one, but I do quite like it. I think it will go with quite a lot of things. And also with the jacket as 
also suggested. This is the jacket with this outfit. And I actually think the black looks even better with white under it. What do we think? Here is the kind of style cards I've included. Again, this is green. I've got a black one, but it gives you an idea of how to use it with two completely different outfits, one kind of casual and one a little more dressy. It says, I've also added a lovely floral blouse by Cerise Blue, which you can pair with the shorts and sandals for a more romantic style look. and this is the blouse it's long sleeved it's got this kind of ruffle um over the top of the sleeves there and also at the bottom of the sleeve and i really like the colors it's got a bit of like rouging at the back there where it's gathered in and it's just got a little button there at the top this is the cerise blue shirt which I quite like, although I don't necessarily think I would wear it with the shorts. I suspect they've just said that so that it kind of pairs together and stuff. Um, I will just put it with something I think I would actually wear it with. I think I would actually wear it with jeans and stuff as well, but in the summer time. So I'd probably more likely to wear the top with these shorts. These actually came in my latest Stitch Fix box. So these are my kind of go-to shorts for the summer time. So I think if I was putting them with any kind of shorts, I would probably put them with these blue ones rather than the green. What do we think? The only thing I would say about this top as well, it's kind of a little bit cropped on the arms. It's got like elastic here on the kind of ruffly bit. So it sits slightly further up on the arm, which is fine. Just not something I was quite expecting. And I've got quite short arms. So um, I guess it'd maybe be three quarter length if you had longer arms. Here it is styled in two different ways. And then finally, I did ask for a long kind of floaty skirt, which I don't have one of. I've never really tried one, but I wanted to try one. Um, the colour they've sent me is definitely not one I would have picked myself, but I'm going to try it and see what I think. So it says, finally, you have the floaty midi skirt by Moss CPH. I went with this one as it's a great length for your height. I'm pretty short. I'm like five foot three, so some things would be way too long. Um, I went with this one. This is a great length for your height, and the pattern is cute and easy to style. Wear the skirt with the camisole and denim jacket, and pair with sandals or trainers for a more casual look. So this is the design of the skirt. Like I said, it's not one I would um, pick up myself because it's very yellow, but actually it might work well. Um, the material and everything feels quite nice. So I'll try it on, I'll see what the lens like and stuff on this as well. Um, it has actually got these little buttons. I don't know if you can see those and on one side, just to give it a little bit of something extra. And this is £54.95. This is how they've styled it. Again, this is a different coloured version of the same skirt. This colour would have been the one I would have picked myself over the other colour, but I'm totally going to give it a go. Um, like, it's very different to anything I've ever bought myself, so perhaps that's not a bad thing. This is obviously a great way to discover um, things you would never have picked out for yourself. And then here is the skirt. It kind of comes up quite high-waisted, as you'd expect, with this sort of skirt. And it's not too bad a length. I like the fact that it's got that little kind of split there. I'm just not sure if it's sort of flattering or if this colour's quite right on me. Um, like I said, it's not something I would usually go for, but that's, like I said, not always a bad thing. Not 100% sure it goes well with white either, even though it's got black in there, it's yellow. Not quite sure it. It's probably a bit better with the jacket as well, with the black in there. Super comfortable, I'll give it that. I've just uh, put a black t-shirt with it instead, which I think is probably better than wearing um, white with it. What do we think? I 
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the try on portion of the video. Please let me know what you think looks good on me and what doesn't, because that'll kind of help when I'm making the decision and I've got to make a pretty quick decision on this one. So as you can see, I'm still wearing this top. I like this. I think I'll probably keep it, really like the pattern um, of it. Yeah, I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this. So let's talk about the items, the prices, and how much it would cost to keep everything. Um, and I'll also tell you what I'm thinking about each item as well as I go through. So the first item on my list is the vest top. Now this is £30.60 which is a lot for a kind of vest top but it has got the nice detail there. It's a really lovely feeling fabric. It looks pretty well made and it's also lined as well. So there is a, quite a bit of workmanship gone into that. Really like this. Think I would get a lot of wear out of it with um, a few different items. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep it as of right now. That's my thoughts on that one. Then we've got the Cerise Blue Finium Shirt Solid SC Red. That's this one. This is 32.40, which I don't think is too bad for a top like that. Like I said, I think I want to keep this one. Then we've got the Selena Skirt Morocco in yellow by Moss CPH. As I said at the start of the video, this is not a pattern I would pick up at all and I just don't think the fit was quite right um I don't think it was flattering on me please let me know if you disagree but I just wasn't really feeling it so my thoughts at the minute are that this will probably be going back this is £54.95 so it's quite a lot as well then we have the SH by Lokiro this is the Sharma Jacket Pocket Black. This is £59.70, which is about right, really, for a denim jacket. It's about right. It actually says on the inside there, um, Sylvian Heach by Lokiro. I'm not really sure who that is. But I do like the jacket. I like the fit, and I do think it'll go with a lot of things. So I'm tempted to hold on to that. Um, I'm just deciding because I have got all the black jackets like I said so I'm just having a thought on that. Then the Garcia jeans poppy short in green, £45.99. I do like them, I like the fabric and everything. My problem with them is I just think they're too big. I think I would need these in the next size down. Now, Lakiro don't offer a exchange service like Stitch Fix do unfortunately. What I'd have to do is send them back and then ask for the other size in my next box so that might be something i do i'm just trying to decide because i do like the color of these if i were to keep everything in the box the total cost of everything in the box is 223 pounds and 64 pence but if i kept all five items i would get a 25 percent discount which would mean i'd get a discount of 55 pounds and 91 pence which would make the balance to pay 167 pounds and 73 pence so you can see with a 55 pound discount if i were to keep four of the items it would actually be cheaper to keep all five and get the discount than to send one item back so sometimes you kind of end up getting like a free item or it just makes more sense to do it that way but i don't think this will be a box that i where i keep them all because like i said i just don't think they're all quite right but I really would appreciate that feedback. So what I do is once I've decided what I wanna keep and what I wanna send back, I'll go through the checkout process. Now, if you were just gonna keep everything, you could just avoid the checkout process and they would eventually just charge you for it. But I tend to go through the checkout process because it really does give you the opportunity to say, this is what I liked about it. This is what I didn't like. This didn't fit, this didn't work. And then it means that the more boxes you get with them, the more personalized the service becomes and the more chances there are of them sending the kind of perfect items for you. So with me probably sending some of the items back, I'll go back, I'll explain why I'm sending them back um, and what I thought the items I'm keeping. Then at the checkout, it will work out how much my total will be based on which items I'm keeping. And I'll also get the £10 that I've paid for the styling fee. That will also come off at checkout as well. So that'll get deducted from the amount I pay. Then if I am sending any of the items back, I'll be using this, which came in the box and has a prepaid returns label on it and then I'll just um, go and take that to the post office get it sent back um, yeah and that's what I'll be doing with that it actually has a Hermes label on so perhaps I can get it collected by Hermes otherwise I think I can go online and print a Royal Mail one and then just drop it off at the post office but either way I'll do the checkout send the items back and just pay for what I keep and then obviously I'll get another Lakiro box probably in the future so let me know what you think of this video, what you think of this box. Would you like have liked to receive the items that I got? 
and like I said what do you think works what do you think didn't work if you do want to try out the Look Hero personal stylist box I will put a link and a code under the video use the code at checkout get 10% off that first box if you'd rather try the Stitch Fix box, then there is actually a £15 credit that you can get on that particular box. I'll put all the links under the video, and at the end of the video, I will link some of my previous Le Chiero and um, Stitch Fix unboxings so you can see uh, the difference between the services and try and work out which one suits you best. So, yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more of my unboxings. Bye, guys.